Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Sergei Larin. He is an accomplished art forger and has been copying and selling the museum's crown jewels for years. Both museum and artwork are owned by his wife, Simone Larin, and have been in her family for generations. While his wife is in New York with an excellent alibi, you have a window of opportunity to eliminate the target. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the Forger Elusive Target for Year 2. This is the final Elusive Target for Year 2 of Hitman 3 and I'll be showing you three different methods for this one. We haven't actually covered him in Hitman 3 apart from Elusive Target Arcade Contract. So the first method will be the default loadout for new players. Uh, the second method will be an optimized quick method. And the final method is going to be more of like a classic Hitman style uh, assassination. We're going to be like walking only, no knockouts, fiber wire only, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, I thought it would be a good way to uh, finish off the year two. I think it's like the first elusive target of Hitman 1 and it's going to be the final elusive target of Hitman 3. Tom Sampson in the description of the different methods anyway, but for method 1, default loadout, standard pistol, coin, and fiber wire, and we're going to start the red carpet. The so, what we need to do first and foremost is basically uh, get to where the target is. So the target is going to be roaming around upstairs and we need to get to him. So what we're going to do is we're not going to bother with the invitation or anything like that. We're actually just going to sneak through the uh, basement area. So you want to run all the way straight up to this door and go down the stairs. In the hallway there's going to be a stylist. So what we're actually going to do is be patient and just let him go. He's going to walk past you. So we're just going to follow him into the locker room. In the locker room there's going to be a waiter's disguise. Go ahead and put that on. Just so there's no enforcers to run into down here. Next thing is going to be a crowbar on top of this barrel. Go ahead and grab that. I'm going to use this as a melee item. I'm going to pass through this section, pass through the kitchen, and head on upstairs. A couple of floors up, you're going to be entering a trespassing zone, so there's only one enforcer in the area, which is going to be a tech crew disguise, uh, member, tech crew member, and he, we're going to knock him out anyway, so stay to the right of the walls, make sure he doesn't see you, and then go ahead and knock him out. Put his disguise on, leave the body there, and then come through this section here. Stand behind these little speakers, take out your pistol, and shoot this camera out. That'll allow you to get past. It's pretty difficult getting past those cameras without shooting it out. So the target's going to be hanging around this area for the first few minutes. And then he's going to head on upstairs. So what we're actually going to do is take him out now before he goes up there. So he has one guard following behind him. And there's a guy, auction staff member in here, so we don't have to worry about him, it's just the guard. So close the door behind you once he comes in here. Knock out the guard from behind. And then quickly take out your target while with a fiber wire or just shoot him in the brain. And if you like as well, if you just do uh, peace of mind, go ahead and put the, uh, the bodies in the closet in the corner if you'd like. Pretty sure no one passes through here, but uh, if you want to be safe, Go ahead and just hide the bodies anyway. But yeah, just make sure you knock out that guard from behind. If you do it from the front, obviously you're going to get spotted and it's going to spoil your silent assassin rating. So the target saw you knock out uh, the guard, but you don't need to worry purely because you've taken out the target so he's no longer a witness. So once we've hidden both those, uh, gu uh, both those bodies there, we're going to shoot out that camera and head to an exit. The safest uh, bet to take an exit is just going to be the one where we started, so that's where we're heading. So, for all the people that are new to the game, and if this is the first time tackling a elusive target, once you've completed this mission for the Silent Assassin Racing, you'll unlock that tuxedo suit with gloves that I've wore at the start of the mission, and you can use that across any of the maps that are in the game. But that's how you do the default slowed out Silent Assassin run. So, those of you that are a little bit more experienced and got a little bit more equipment, I recommend starting in the AV Center, disguised as a tech crew. Bring along any pistol you like, bring along a lockpick and a lethal syringe. That's all you're going to need. 
From the very start, I grabbed this uh, fireworks remote and just set it off. Come behind these speakers, shoot out the camera. Uh, triggering that fireworks remote is going to make Nov Novikov walk this way. I'm going to shoot out that camera as well. Now I'm getting randomness about this particular part because uh, if you come, if you what you have to do, if you lockpick this door and drop a gun just about here, just drop it out of your inventory, inventories, or just select it and just drop it from the D-pad. We want his guard to see that and take it away, so he passes through here. Now if he goes through the other door, it's just one of those things that happens because I planned it for the other door on the right in the corridor. And he would come through here every time. So you want to try and bank on him coming through this area. Either way, this is relatively easy to get done. The whole idea is basically just to get rid of the guard out of the area. I mean, you could just knock him out right in front of the target, just like we did in the first method. It's entirely up to you, but we really just wanted to seclude him and just syringe him real quick. Nice and easily done at the start of the mission. We've already shot that camera out at the start, so we're free to go to the exit, and that's it. So if you have a problem and he comes through the different door, just do the same thing. Just make sure you put the gun on the opposite side of that door instead. So yeah, any issues, let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them as best as I can. But yeah, for the experienced people, it's a real quick and easy silent assassin guide, so there we go. So this one's going to be a silent assassin suit only, but it's more of a classic style of a hitman uh, assassination. So we'll be doing walking only, no knockouts, and just pure stealth. 47. The private apartment on the upper floor is your most likely location to acquire the target. Intelligence indicates he has a personal guard at public events, so plan Ladies accordingly. Good hunting. So I'm not going to be talking too much through in this method, because I think it will kind of spoil it. But uh, what we're doing, actually doing at the start here is just heading straight to where all the target's going to be. He's going to be hanging around that, uh, that gallery area where all the paintings are. And uh, we're going to take him out there. If you wait long enough, he will come up to this uh, auction area and he will actually head into the attic. So if you want another way of secluding him, that will be your best bet. So while I'm in here, I'm just going to set a trap for him. And what you're going to do here is just going to put a pistol just about there. Again, this is just to get rid of his guard. So over here, he's going to be hanging around that fireplace for a while. It's going to be a little bit of a conversation with his guard. And then he's going to head towards that painting that's in front of the table. And what we're going to do, once he gets a little bit close, we're going to create a distraction for him. He's going to come in the room. He's going to see the pistol. He's going to tell the guard about it. The guard's going to take it away. And that's going to give us a chance to take out our target This might be a little bit premature taking him out right in front of the guard. You might want to wait, but uh, a little bit impatient here. So 
So now that body's hidden, I really wanted to go for more of a, a bit of a rare exit in the mission. Purely because it doesn't get used much, and it would be more of a James Bond style if we just took a boat as an exit. But uh, it's one of the worst exits in the game. It's the most rarest ones used. Purely because you have to walk past an exit just to get there. It just doesn't make much sense. But I'm here. I'm just waiting. I'm being patient here. Waiting for my opportunity to get past these guys. And I'll uh, head straight to the exit. Took a bit of a risky exit going out the back as well. So hold on for that bit because it was quite close. I should have went round the back, it would have been a lot more of a safer passage all the way to the boat. But I came out here forgetting there was a guard right there, and I just had to go for it. But this is a pure good example of once you're in the eye line of a guard, going slow is always the best option. Because if I rushed through here and I ran, I would definitely would have got spotted here. So this just shows you that uh, slow and steady usually is the best bet. Yeah, pretty close one at the end there. Um, but like I said, slow and steady. Helps you get through that section a lot more easier. But I probably should have went around the back and run behind the hedges. I wouldn't have got to, had such, a, such close calls there. But hopefully you've enjoyed that little method anyway. I don't usually do that sort of thing, but I just thought I'd do it. Final, like, looser target for Hitman 3. Just to be clear, it's probably not going to be the final looser target of the Ward of Assassination. Like, it's just Hitman 3 is basically not going to be called Hitman 3 after January 26th so uh, when it comes to the water assassination I'm pretty sure there'll be more uh, elusive targets looping around probably for year three so stay tuned for that but thank you very much for watching this particular video I really do appreciate all the support thank you very much and uh, yeah drop a like subscribe if you are brand new to the channel consider becoming a patreon or becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description for all the details and I shall see you in the next video thank you very much for watching cheers